Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Voodoo Garden. My name is Ray. I will be your host. I have two pairs of clippers today because I need to start chopping plants. And I thought, well, I'm going to be chopping plants today, so I might as well have my best friends here. And you're one of them. Um, this plant right here, uh, I keep mispronouncing it, and every, every single time I do, somebody helps me pronounce it again. So I'm going to mispronounce it again because I, I never pay attention to pronunciation. This is the ACI palm, or ACI palm, A-C-A-I. Uh, someone sent me seeds for this a long, long time ago, and I planted them. So I've grown this from seed. I didn't buy this one as a plant. It's a beautiful little palm, and uh, I think it comes from, I don't know, over the ocean somewhere. And uh, it looks really pretty cool. It's been growing up here in the Voodoo Garden for quite some time. And uh, I wanted to show an update because last time I did an update on the grow room, I didn't show this plant. And anytime I don't show a plant in an update, somebody always asks me, what happened to that plant? Did it die? Because I think people kind of get attached to these plants. And I can understand because I do too. This one had a twin. The twin died. Don't know why. This one, on the other hand, did extremely well. It started out in a pot the same size as this one right here. This one is a goji berry. Yeah, a lot of people have heard of goji berries. I'll get to that one soon, but for right now, I wanted to show you this. So this started in a very small uh, pot, but after I transplanted it, as you can see right here at the base of it, it, it grew really nice and fat. I like that. So uh, it's a very healthy, very sturdy plant, but it needs a little bit of upkeep every now and then, and that's where my handy pruners come in. I love pruning things. I don't know why. It's just something I like to do. Uh, I could probably get into bonsai. I think that's probably my calling. But what I'm doing with this thing, every now and then, one of the lower leaves, not really lower, but, you know, the, the older leaves, they get kind of old and they get kind of faded. This one right here is a little bit faded and it's really doing the plant no good, so snip. One thing that people have asked me on this, well, you got to go over there. One thing people have asked me on this is, can you prune a palm tree and have it, you know, grow out like a pepper plant? No, you cannot. Bad dog. Don't ever do that to your palm trees, okay? Palm trees only grow up one, I don't know what it's called, some kind of scientific term, one uh, stalk, and that's it. They put out leaves from that. You chop it off, you might as well uproot that sucker because it's not going to put out more growth. That's my understanding. Could be wrong, who knows? Uh, wouldn't be the first time. But anyway, that's the AC pump and it's doing really good. Thank you for asking. This one right here is a uh, goji berry. And the goji berry uh, is uh, it's supposed to be very nutritious for you. I, at least that's what I heard. And uh, I tried growing these once and uh, spider mites came in and they ate the whole thing. It was awful. It was like a horror scene. Yeah, they came in and they just decimated it. I tried spraying it, but you know, the spray kind of hurt the plant more than the spider mites did because once a plant gets so sick and you hit it with a pesticide, even if it's organic, sometimes that can kill your plant. So uh, this one, uh, luckily, I haven't had any spider mites in here for months, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But this thing I've been pruning like a madman because it has to... Mm, doesn't smell. But anyway, it has to start getting bushy right now because these things are notorious for growing tall and lanky and kind of looking like crap. You know, it's not the prettiest plant I've ever had, but uh, somebody sent me seeds for this. They called it a Tibetan goji berry. So I'm growing a Tibetan goji berry. This plant here is called a dragon fruit. Yeah, uh, some people have told me, hey, that's not a dragon fruit. Dragon fruits are kind of roundish and they got a whole bunch of little needles on them. It's a dragon fruit. Take my word for it. It's a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit plants uh, have three lobes on them. And uh, if you look up close, you can actually see it has three big lobes on the big plant. They start out as being kind of roundish, almost like a pencil round, not exactly round, but kind of having sides. Then as they get older, they get this more pronounced uh, tri-looking uh, thing, like three sides. And um, this one I got as this little baby stump and uh, it grew and it grew these two little goal posts and it went up and I tied it up and it was doing good. Then I decided I don't like the look of this. I, I, it's in too big of a pot and transplanting this thing is going to be a pain in my butt because it has stickers all over the place and trying to transplant a cactus, and that's what I'm assuming this is, is not my cup of tea. I don't even like cactuses. I'm one of the few people that just can't stand those things. But 
since this produces a really nice, edible, delicious fruit, I thought, what the heck, I'm going to grow it. So, I have the top of this that I pruned off, and I put it into that big pot down there. And uh, But I wanted to show you this because I want it's growing another little thing. Whenever you prune this off, it'll always grow another one out of the top. It does it over on this side, and it does it over on this side. And uh, you can take those if you want and let them grow, or you can snip them off and transplant them. And that's where the other pot comes uh, in. I took this thing because I didn't want it anymore, and I shoved it over my bedroom, and there was no grow lights, and the darn thing wouldn't die. I know, I felt really kind of bad every time I looked at that. One of these days, I'll take you and throw you out to the compost pile. Well, winter came and went, and this poor thing just stayed in my room. <laughs> I felt so bad. Every time I walked by, he's like, Daddy, Daddy, give me some water. And uh, no, I didn't do anything for this, but it survived. So I felt really bad, brought it into the grow room, gave it some water, and it started putting out these new growths for me. So what I've been doing is I take the new growths, I put it into soil, and it grows some more. So this is my supply plant now. It's no longer a plant that I'm going to keep. As soon as I get enough cuttings from this, I'm going to toss it outside and let it run amok out in the yard. But take a look at what's in this pot down here, and uh, I'll show you how I transplant these things. It's not fun, but it is fascinating. I think it's fascinating. Well, maybe you don't think it is, but I do. Isn't this really funky looking? Yeah, I don't like to touch these things because uh, the needles come out and they stick in my hand. They're really hard to get out. But what I did was I took those, that little cutting. I took a cutting like this one right here. I snipped it off and then I put it into the soil and it grew up. But what happens is when you look up close, it grows up and then it just snakes down and hits the ground and it puts out all of these weird little roots. And where those roots go down, it grows stronger so the it, it can literally climb along the ground if you want it to anyway here's how we plant uh dragon fruit now by the way a couple of these i took them and they were two foot long sections i shoved them all the way into the soil and they grew just fine somebody posted a comment they said you shouldn't have done that ah, well <laughs> you should grow your own cactus i grow mine like this and they grow just fine people are always telling me how i should do things and stuff i'm, like, I'm thinking really that's all you have to do is to go searching through videos and tell people how they should do things. Why don't you just do it yourself instead of telling everybody else how they should do it? Just enjoy yourself. You sound like you're a little bit sad and angry. Anyway, toss it in there, cover up the roots, and ooh, I bumped a cactus. <laughs> and the only reason I'm growing, yeah, that was it. I know it was just a little too simple, but then we had a little bit of water, and I don't have any. Darn it. <sighs> That's all there is to it. Just toss it in there, and I could have left more of the plant out, but I figured, why? All I want is the growing tip, so I'm going to cover this up like that, and eventually this growing tip is going to grow out and then snake along, and this is going to be some kind of a weird vining plant. So this is going into the corner of the video room, and it's going to behave itself. Otherwise, it's going to suffer the same fate as its parent over here. I'm going to toss you out in the compost pile. Yes, I will. Anyway, that is my dragon fruit plant. Uh, people were wondering, you know, what happened to the dragon fruit. It's very much alive, but it's serving a purpose now instead of just sitting there doing nothing. Looking pretty. All right, now, next one. These are, oops, what am I going to do? Oh, come on over here. Eh. I got a rug in here. My mom brought me a rug. My mom came to visit and I was mentioning on the Praxis channel that moms always bring you all kinds of stuff. They always bring you food. Uh, sometimes they bring you toilet paper. Why a mom would bring you toilet paper? I don't know. I guess I think we don't, you know, take care of ourselves when they're not around. Food, blankets. I got all kinds of blankets. And she brought me rugs. And this is a really cool round rug. And I thought, ooh, I'm going to put it in the voodoo garden. Mom doesn't know what the voodoo garden is, but you guys do. Anyway, where'd my clippers go? These are fig trees. Yes, they are. These are fig trees. Uh, a viewer, uh, and I don't remember who it was, but uh, she was so kind. I didn't talk to her about it or anything. All of a sudden, in, in the mail, shows up this big box. And uh, I open it up, and there's two sticks in there, and it's fig trees. Yeah, there's one called a Jack Black, and the other one is called... Oh, that's Jack Black. The other one's called... What are you? Brown Turkey Fig. Isn't that a cool name? Anyway, I, I put them in soil, planted them just right, and I'm growing fig trees in my house. I don't think they can survive my winters, so I have indoor fig trees. 
thing about this is, is that I put them in here and I waited because you never know where the growth is going to come out on uh, a rootstock. Like I did a video outside on uh, how to plant uh, trees from sticks. You never know where the new growth is going to come up. Well, what happened is we got one, two, and then it comes up out here. Now, normally, if I was growing these outside, I would just let them go because that would be a good thing. But in the voodoo garden, uh, we have a limited space to grow up, so I have to be a little bit creative. And I thought, you know what? I have two really good uh, uh, sprouts right here, and then I have this. So I really didn't need this. I know this is going to hurt. Those of you that don't want to see it, close your eyes. Ready? Oh. And that's how we do it in the Voodoo Garden. Yes, that's how we roll. Now, this is going to be a shorter plant, but we're going to have two of these coming up, and then I might prune those. So this may end up being a bush. This one, on the other hand, it has one, two, three, four, and then it has a cluster of three, a little triad of things up there. And I thought, hmm, how do I want this thing to look? I really don't know. So I had originally planned on doing this video and showing you that I was going to cut it down, but just now, at the drop of a hat. I just thought, you know what? I think I'm going to let this one go natural. What do you think? I think I'm going to let the Jack Black just grow a branch out here, 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 and this triad of ones, I'm going to try and train them to go out like this, you know, to, to bring them down gently and have them grow out horizontally like I do uh, with the uh, cocoa tree. So, change of plans. Yes, you got to reprieve. I'm going to grow this. I love the smell of these leaves. They don't have like a perfumey smell, but they, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's a, it's a fig tree smell, and I like it. But anyway, whoever sent me these things, thank you. Thank you a lot. I really do appreciate having these in here. And these are going to last a long, long time. They're very healthy, and they don't have any bugs, any leaf problems. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. But uh, I wanted to show you these because there's a lot of growth going on in these. Okay, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to do a shorter episode to show you a couple of the odds and ends that I haven't shown recently in the Voodoo Garden. There's a lot of good stuff going on over here. And, uh, oh, the, remember the resurrection plant? You know, that little thing that uh, lives for 100 years? Uh, it turned green. Yeah, it turned really green and it's growing and... I don't know what's going to happen with that thing, but I think it's fantastic. I showed my mom when she came up to visit, and the, she had recognized it right off the bat. Being a religious person, I guess she knows what her, a resurrection plant is. That was the first thing she looked at when she came uh, uh, into the grow room, and uh, I loved showing it off. I took her through the whole room, and I was pointing out my dwarf peach and my lemon tree, and I had her rub the lemon leaves, and she really liked that. She had a really good time. So, um, yeah, it was really nice sharing it with my mom. Okay, I gotta get going. I gotta get these guys, or girls, underneath the light and get them growing again. And, um, okay, I think we're pretty much done here in the Voodoo Garden. Thanks everybody for joining me. This is Ray. I'm out of here.